Hi friends, Stephanie here. I recently finished reading the book Diary of Two Mad Black Mormons by Xandra Raines and Tamu Smith and I want to share it with you. This is one of three books I picked up while I was in Time Out for Women Raleigh and I had my eye on it for a while but I had wanted to thumb through it before actually buying it and I was able to do that there and I was still interested in it and uh, so I got it. And before I forget, I want to show you inside the slip cover here, it's this lovely purple color. Um, I like when people remember <laughs> to pay attention to the design of the actual hardcover in case you don't want to keep the slip cover on it forever. Um, so this was a fun book. I enjoyed them as speakers, first of all. Um, they were a very fun pair of speakers at Time Out for Women and they had a lot of creative, and by creative I mean um, ones I hadn't heard before, insights into things like scripture stories and life experiences. And it was really fun to hear them speak. Um, and uh, they, the book, it's good if you've heard them speak before and you can do that. They have a few YouTube videos out there and they have their uh, radio station uh, sisters in Zion and so you can hear them speak that way but the way they write is very much how they speak their uh, their slang comes through and I found myself the the voice in my head was um, my version of uh, a southern drawl which they're not both southern by any stretch but that's what I ended up having going through my head because it was just so conversational that you kind of felt like there was you were hearing them speak, um, um, but they also some people they, they just have that knack for writing where they have a good creative turn of phrase and uh, these two definitely do. So at one point, um, Sister Laurel, as she calls herself in the book, or Zandra, Zandra Brain, she's telling the story about how she moved and her dad had embarrassed her in sacrament meeting by introducing her to another new girl and saying that she didn't have any friends and so they could be friends. Um, and what she says is, um, I know that if looks could kill, the one that was on my face at that moment was liable to turn sacrament meeting into a funeral service. So there are a lot of just fun turns of phrase and things in here. I really enjoyed reading it and it was a good way to think a little bit outside of the box about how I look at the gospel and how I approach things. Um, it's nice reading a fun church book where nobody makes jo inside jokes about green jello because I'm sorry all of you out in Utah, green jello is not a Mormon thing. Okay, I still live in America and I can't tell you the last time I had green jello at a church function. It's just, uh, it's a Utah thing. Maybe a Utah, Idaho, Nevada thing, but it's not a Mormon thing, so get over it. Anyway. But it's, it's good to have different views because we do have a very, it's a worldwide church, but more than that, we just, there's so many different personalities and cultures that live the gospel. And being able to look at the church and look at gospel principles through fresh eyes is a wonderful thing um, that I think helps us. Uh, helps to focus back on what the actual core of the gospel is and not the um, culture that sometimes grows up around it but isn't actually the gospel itself. So I very much enjoyed the, reading this book and I would recommend it if you can get your hands on it. Diary of Two Mad Black Mormons. Thank you and I'll see you next time on Enjoying the Intentional Life. Bye.